Hello, hello! Welcome back to my channel. Do you guys also have a ton of playing cards and you don't know what to do with them? Uh, I do. <laughs> and um, I have a few old ones that I like, like these ones. I actually found this for a dollar at Goodwill. And this is uh, a super old card game and I already used a bunch of these. Um, I just like adding those in my journals, like in, in um, pockets or create something with them. Uh, and then I love these ones. These are also old. These are really pretty. So yeah, when it comes to these card, like special cards, oh, that's cute. I like uh, using them as they are. But then I have like a bunch of regular playing cards. And um, these ones I bought at an estate sale, and I just liked that they have like this old train on the back. But again, what am I going to do with so many cards? <laughs> so yeah, what I want to do today is uh, I want to make altered playing cards. So all you do is you just decorate them. And I made these uh, a few days ago, and they were so much fun, and I like I like how they turned out. Um, that I want to make some more and I decided to just turn a camera on so you can craft along if you want to or just listen to me while you're crafting but yeah so this is the first one and I love doing the specimen cards tags whatever um, with just like a mushroom or a plant or flower or birds here I didn't use a specimen tag because they the owls used up most of the card but yeah, so I want to make some more, and I also have a ton of different uh, playing cards. They all have different um, backsides, so those I use to also um, just add to my journals. But these are all pretty plain. These ones actually I bought because I think they were... Yeah, they are different size. These are exactly th two and a half by... Two and a half by three and a half inches and i use those to make uh artist trading cards because that's the size our artist trading cards have this one i think is just regular playing cards yeah so i'm not sure what i'm going to do with those maybe turn them into journaling cards i don't know yet so but since i have so many of this kind i decided i'm just going to make some more let's see Let's do two red ones and a black one because I did oh two blacks and a, two black ones and a um, a red one last time. <coughs> All right, so let's get this out of the way. Put it upside down. All right, so um, because they are pretty white, what I did first was I just um, distressed them with my uh, archival ink so it stays because these are like uh, very uh, they're not like rough they're very smooth and you can actually I don't think if you can write on them but they're just I don't know they they don't hold the color too good so you can actually smear it um, but once it's dry it should be fine yeah. And I just uh, distressed them. You could try coffee dyeing them, but I don't think that it'll it'll stick. Or you can just leave them white if you um if you like them. <coughs> white. Sorry. <coughs> the tickle in my throat. Okay. And I'm just putting my paper on here so that I, I don't leave fingerprints. Alright, so yeah, it's allergy season. Goodbye, cold season. Hello, allergy season. <laughs> Ugh. It's mostly been uh, sinus issues. But I'll take that over a cold or, or a flu or pneumonia any day. Because it's also a sign of spring. Okay, so... And then once... These are all distressed. Uh, 
and I'm just using one of those makeup brushes. You can actually um, buy a whole set, I think eight or ten, and they're like the ones I had bought a long time ago. They were really inexpensive. And I know some craft stores or craft websites, they uh, sell these, but they're more expensive. But I don't see a difference. These were work perfectly fine. So I would totally, totally check out Amazon um, rather than buying the super expensive ones because they're pretty much the same. All right, so what do we need? Um, I think I want to put a book page on there, maybe some um, like wax paper. Let's see. And I also need some images that I can stick on there. Let's see, maybe we can find some that are on the left side, because all these are, like, kind of on the right side. Okay, so I have my fuzzy, fuzzy cuts. I got mushrooms, so I have any good flowers. Let's see. Mm. Oh, that's way too big. Oh, I can use this for my Victorian journal. I should leave this out. Hmm. Now I have to watch me again to go while I'm going through my fuzzy cut. Uh, flowers. Always takes me forever to figure out what I want. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. I don't know how many roses. Maybe, maybe we'll do a flower, a mushroom, and a bird. How about that? Okay, so new. Oh, we have our specimen labels, or any any label would work. I just like the specimen ones really a lot. Okay, let's see if we have a mushroom that works with the red card. That is pretty big. Nope. That's a cute little mushroom. A little too small though. Maybe. Or this one. How about this one? Yep, let's go with this one. Oh, how I love my mushrooms. <sighs> Are you all having a good week so far? Are you all crafting a lot? I would love to craft more, but I can't. <laughs> It's always so much stuff going on. All right, we need one more birdie. Preferably one that goes this direction. Kind of want to cut his tail off. Mm. Just an owl head. Oh, how about this one? Let's go with this one. All right. Speaking of birds, I really need to put our feeder for the hummingbirds out because I'm sure our Wilbur's back from Florida by now. Usually, uh, Wilbur's our hummingbird. <laughs> Usually, we always say he he winters in Florida because that's where the the previous owner of our house lives. Um, and because he took such good care of that hummingbird. Uh, we figured maybe the hummingbirds go spending the winters with him and the summers with us. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I gotta put the feeders out. Um, because he knows exactly where we put them. And he usually comes back, like, early or, like, second, around second week of May. Okay. What do we want? And I just have... Um, book page scraps that I can can use. Doctor. 
Mr. Thompson. Just making sure that there's no bad stuff on you. Can you hear my cat? All right, and then I also distress um, the edges so they stand out more. I think I'm getting very close to finishing my bird journal, which surprises me because I thought it was going to take me a lot longer because it has so many pages. But I'm I'm really loving it and I'm super excited to show it to you guys. Okay, so let's just stick this here. Do you guys craft with playing cards? And if if you do, what do you make with them? I'm just curious there, for other ways to use those up. Okay. And I'm just going to glue this without overthinking it. And maybe we can put some lace on it too. Let's see what we got laying around. Oh, let me get my lace container. Or fabric scraps or lace scraps. And then uh, I also sewed, sewed on my cards, just some zigzag stitch, um, totally optional, but I just like adding different um, different textures. I just, I feel like it just makes it look more finished. Same with the distressing of the edges. <clears throat> it's finally getting warmer here, and this weekend it's supposed to be 88 on Saturday. I'm really excited for that. Alright, so... Let's see, do we want a label? Where did my labels go? Labels. Oh, they're right here. Hiding. Okay, so we're gonna make another specimen thing. Thingmajig. Hmm, I think that's why I put them all on the left. Eh, on the right. Because this label has everything on their left. Let's see what else we got. Oh gosh. Want a blue one? No. That's a cute one. Yep, that works. Let's just stick that under that lace. I might do some coffee dyeing this week when it gets so warm. It'll it'll dry so much faster in the sun. And if you're interested on how you can uh, coffee dye your paper with pretty patterns on it, I can link my video in the description below. Um, it has been very popular lady, lady lately, so if you're interested in watching it, 
go check it out. It's pretty, pretty easy. Um, I'm just gonna find find stuff that you can use as pattern. But I think I've linked a bunch of them on the video. So yeah, you can check it out if you're interested. I love coffee dyeing stuff with patterns. Okay, so I got one, and once this dries, I can trim off the edges and then maybe do some little bit of stitching. Let's do the rose. <clears throat> okay, so uh, on the other book page. Let's use Pride and Prejudice because this is really nice yellow paper. Oh my gosh, I told you guys before that I'm trying not to buy any new stuff um, at the moment and really make myself use up stuff that I have. And I've been actually been pretty good. I've used up stuff that I haven't touched in quite a while, like these cards. Well, not used up, but used, used some of it. Um, and <laughs> however... I saw two thing, uh, two things on Etsy that I just really wanted, and it's not like they will be there forever. <laughs> so yeah, I ordered them. One of them actually arrived today, and I gotta show you what it is. It's so pretty. Um, it's a piece of an old quilt. Let me move this out of the way because I don't want to mess it up. Isn't this pretty? I'm, I'm gonna make a couple of uh, journal covers out of this, but I thought that was so beautiful. Love it. I think it was the last one or the only one. So yeah, I had to get that because I've been making so many covers lately. And I think it's totally fine to get stuff when you know you're gonna use it because uh, if you just buy it so you can hoard it, that's a different story. But I, I just, I couldn't resist because I really wanted to make a journal cover with that. Okay, roses. How are we gonna put you down here? Um, and I always crinkle my, or mostly crinkle, most of the time crinkle my wax paper because I just like the effect it has. Or. Uh, the texture, extra texture it gives it. Um, let's just glue this down. Oh, my cat's meowing. I thought my daughter was was loud upstairs. All right. This way. Rarely I've been crafting uh, in the evening lately, maybe on the weekend, if I'm not too, too tired. Like last weekend, I wasn't too exhausted because on weekends I don't have to work, work. And last weekend, our daughter was visiting her grandma, so. I wasn't too exhausted, <laughs> but um, yeah, during the week, I'm always so tired. And usually when she goes to bed, I like, I'm not far behind. I just, I just like go to bed, watch something until I fall asleep, like a YouTube video or crafty videos and stuff like that. But holy cannoli. But today I'm super sleepy, but I just really, really wanted to craft. Lately, this has been my favorite thing like my favorite hobby um so yeah it makes me super happy and that's also one of the reasons i wake up in, at four in the morning because i can go into my craft room <laughs> i know 
You might think I'm nuts, but holy smokes, it makes me so happy. And I think it's really, really important to have something that makes you happy or fulfills you. I mean, besides your family or your loved ones. I mean, you know what I mean. Just um, a hobby that you can do for yourself. Okay, how am I going to do this? I might sew this down. <coughs> and making YouTube videos for you guys makes it even more fun. It totally fulfills me, especially when you guys communicate with me. All your kind, kind comments mean the world to me. All right. So, label. Okay, I'm gonna have to trim this because I have, I cannot really see where the card ends. Ugh. All right, um, how are we gonna do that? Mm. Nope, I'm not gonna use those specimen labels, I guess. Let's see what we got. <sighs> That's a pretty one with like floor. Oops, where am I? Here we go. With leaves on it. Hmm. I don't even know if we need a. Maybe we not, might not even need a label. Maybe not. Who says that we have to put labels on everything, right? Oh, there's a little one. Nope, that doesn't work with that. No, I, I don't think I'm going to put a label on it. Just put the flowers on it. This one too. Ugh, I can pick it up. And then uh, I use these to just glue them on a page um, in my journal or in a pocket or anything. Like it's just an embellishment. Um, you could glue them like this here and here and then have like a corner tuck maybe. Okay, so, oh, no, this doesn't go in the trash. One more with Birdie. Maybe the bird can sit on this. Hmm. You guys go to uh, retreats, like crafty retreats or like junk journal related events. I would love to go to one, but I have never seen any anything in Maine. Um, I know of two, two or three other junk journalers in Maine. I don't know them personally, um, but yeah. 
I, I don't think it's very um, popular in Maine. I don't know. I don't know where all the junk journals live, but I know they don't live in Maine. <laughs> it would be so nice to have a junk journal friend here. Okay, so the closest I have to a junk journal friend is my quilty friend because she likes my junk journals and she likes fabrics so we can like go to the stores together and she also um she understands my my passion for all the like fabrics and linen and lace and she also likes victorian stuff so that's at least something none of my other friends are crafty i mean here where i live so yeah i wish i wish I told Donna um, that I wish we lived closer. <laughs> New York is so far. And Darcy's far away too. So yeah, she's down south. However, her aunt lives in my town, so that's something. Hopefully she will come back to visit this year. I know I repeat myself, Darcy, but I really hope you're coming back. <laughs> I had such a good time last year. All right, what are we doing here? Or Darcy, if you're, does your aunt make junk journals? Because that's where I met her. I met her in a junk journal group, I think. Maybe I can hang out with your aunt. <laughs> she just lives like two miles down the road. Or, uh, Three miles, which is funny because it's a, such a small world. Okay. What do I want to use? Hmm. I don't know. Well, let's just glue this down. When in doubt, just glue it down. Oops. Today, my grandfather would have been 106, uh, but he passed away a few years ago. I think he was nine, 96, 96, I think, when he passed away. So yeah, that popped up in my Facebook this morning, because like 10 years ago, I, I had posted that my grandfather was turning 96. I can't believe the time goes by so fast. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to put this one up here. And I'm just randomly using the glue, whatever is closest to my hand. I remember when I was a kid, um, I don't know how many of you know Charlie Chaplin, but when I was a kid, I loved those... Um, I don't know what they call those movies where they don't talk. But yeah, Charlie Chaplin. I I thought I was like I liked him when I was a kid. And my grandfather, he he knew him um because I I don't know if he did a book about him, but my grandfather had a, a publishing house. And um so when I was a kid, I would always tell my friends, "Yeah, my grandfather knew Charlie Chaplin." And <laughs> and when I told my grandfather, he was like he he didn't think it was anything special. He also knew some important politicians and and I don't know like important people. But as a kid, I didn't I had no clue what who those people were. So he he didn't think it was super special. But hey, I knew Charlie Chap like I mean I only knew Charlie Chaplin. He was one the only person I knew that my grandfather was talking about. So I thought that was cool. And I will never remember, never forget that. Okay, so. Yep. Let's put this little birdie on here. Oh, I was going to put some lace. Hey, we got some cheesecloth. It's probably going to dissolve because that's what they do. Uh, what do I want to put on here? I'm trying to see if I have anything else. 
Mm, I get it. Maybe I have to make scraps. Because I can't, I don't see anything. Oop, there's a little hard piece. That's a weird piece. Nope. Not the fan. Alrighty, let's oof, get to the uh, scrap bin. I mean, lace bin. Mm. That's too white. We're gonna make a scrap. Don't tell anyone. I'm probably gonna use fabric tag on this because well huh if I can get any goo out <laughs> here we go get I haven't retired these bottles yet after all Oop, that works because they still have a little bit in them Okay, so now I gotta see if I wanna sew these somehow. Why are you not sticking? Oh, because there's lace under it. And I don't know how much uh, sense it makes to distress the edges because while it's drying, you can wipe it off. <laughs> so it might not make sense. But I'll do it, because I'm used to it. At least where the paper is. Okay. Let's close this and close the glue. And then we're gonna just do some quick sewing. Hmm, where are we gonna sew? Everything's stuck. Alright, so I think mushroom I might just sew it here. And then flowers I might mm, maybe down here a little bit or around the corner. And the bird I have no idea yet. That will be spontaneous. We gotta cut this off. Sorry, bird, I had to cut your feathers off. All right, so I shall sew these and then I'll come back. All righty, so the birdie I just sewed up here and around the specimen label. And I'm just gonna cut this thread off. Ugh. And then the flowers. I sewed around down here and around the corner. And then the mushroom might just sewed up here. So yeah, this is just one of many ways you can use up all those playing cards that you have laying around or not. <laughs> um, sometimes you find nice playing cards at Goodwill. Our Goodwill, that the one that I go to, uh, has a shelf with all the, the board games and all like the games that are in boxes. And they have a shelf that has a basket and they have like all the little card games and things. And that's where I found um, these two old ones. They're like, I don't know how old they are, but they're they're really neat. Um, and they were like a dollar. So yeah, totally gonna buy them. 
Um, and then sometimes you find them at estate sales. And depending on what's on the back, I buy them. Or if they have like a nice, um, a nice, uh, what is it called, face of the cards. Um, and then you can also find, um, I'm sure you can still find these, but uh, this was a set or a listing on Etsy for I think a hundred uh, playing cards and each one has a different back. So they're really neat and I can every once in a while, this is cool. I, f I when I make a theme journal, I just go through and uh, uh, find like a themed the a cup playing card and a theme and I just use it because they have really pretty images. So yeah, um, definitely uh, check out Etsy or or um, eBay for like vintage playing cards or because this way you don't have the same same cards like the same back of the cards however many times how many cards there are yeah so i hope this gives you an, an idea of what you can do with with playing cards and um yeah uh, it's also great for mass making i would i would think so yeah i i i hope you like them and i uh thank you for watching my video and for all your lovely comments and i'll talk to you in my next video thank you so much for watching guys have a crafty day